Good morning, Facebook followers. My name is Tom Lowy. I'm from the Galesburg Register Mail. I'm a reporter and a columnist, and I'm happy to be in a noisy garden center inside Walmart uh, for the annual Jack Larson Shoe Day. And I am here with Don LaFever from First Presbyterian Church. That's correct. How are things going today, Don? Well, it's 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 uh, a joyful, chaotic day, but we love it. It's exactly the way we hoped it would go. Volunteers are here having a good time. Children are having a great time getting their new pair of shoes. So it's just wonderful. We're having a great day. For folks, um, for folks who might not know, explain what Shoe Day is in terms of what you folks are trying to do today. Well, uh, I guess we have to go back to Jack Larson. Jack Larson realized that uh, the school district and the children that he loved had a, had a need. And uh, the need was that in the fall, they didn't have a good pair of shoes to go to school in. So uh, Jack, with his insights, started raising money to, uh, to bring about uh, shoes for children. Right. And uh, we've been doing this for 12 years now. Uh, and uh, we've kind of continued it uh, as Jack has passed. We continue it still in his name because of the, the uniqueness of it, that one individual can make such a difference. And Jack is living proof of that. Diane Von Hottigan told me that when she was at Lombard, Jack Larson walked across the street and asked her, what can I do to help some kids? So he's kind of started small. Tell folks about the scope of what you're doing today in terms of how many grade school kids you you think you're helping and how many uh, seventh, eighth, or sixth, seventh, and eighth graders right. later today? Well, uh, we can probably expect uh, nearly 300 people, kindergarten through uh, fifth grade, coming in here this morning. They should be done around 11 o'clock. And then this afternoon, we'll uh, have the junior highs to come in and we'll put shoes on that age children, probably close to 50. So by the end of the day, we'll have fit uh, 350 shoes, probably very close to that. And this is a partnership between First Presbyterian Church and some other folks. Why don't you tell our viewers who, who, oh, how this all happens? Yeah, yeah, this is this is a big thing. This is a, a culmination of a lot of people getting together and doing something great for children. And the Elks Club, from the very beginning, uh, wanted to get their their uh, members involved in this. Uh, the Presbyterian Church, as we are Jack's church, and we're carrying on his legacy and getting volunteers to help out. But we have uh, so many uh, uh, groups, uh, 205, Walmart, the radio station, the newspaper. Everybody gets involved in this because it takes a lot of people to make this thing go. But uh, 205 is, is instrumental in getting the kids here, getting the sizes of shoes, so Walmart has a idea just who's going to be coming in here so we have shoes available for them. Don Lefevre, I had never met you before today and I ha I'm happy to say that I have and I want to thank you. I kind of came at you out of the blue. Uh, that's okay, Tom. And, and, uh, and, and, and asked to speak with you and you graciously uh, uh, you know, let us put you on live video here on <laughs> Facebook. So thanks a lot and, and thanks to the organizations. Thank you very much, Tom. All right.